Hello. Today, let's discuss a very small topic of logical or analytical reasoning, that is direction sense. Something that probably is instilled into us since our school time. Nothing really great that we need to study. Just that probably we'll need to look at some variations of the questions that are available. And as far as exams are concerned, faintly do I remember that cat. Concentrating itself on this kind of questions, some of the exams like probably an Irma or a SNAP or very very distant chances of a Narsi Monji or an IFT asking such a kind of a question. The point with this question is that it's it's as much as the fastest food that is available. A question of direction sense could at max take up say forty five minutes, forty five seconds of a concentrated effort. Let's look at a couple of examples and understand what the basics are. See, when you look at the diagram which is put on the board, the first thing we are talking about is the four main directions, that is north, east, west, and south. Big deal about it. See, if you are standing facing north, you know that on your right is the east, on your left is the west, and your back is facing south. There are four cardinal directions also. Exactly 45 degrees that you draw between north and east, you'll get northeast. Similarly, between south and west, you get southwest. Such four cardinal directions: that is, northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. Here, the jargons are also very restricted to the usage. Say, for example, if I say I'm standing facing north and I turn towards my right, I know it is east. And when I say right, I exactly mean 90 degrees towards my right, not anywhere in between. On the other hand, if I say I turn 45 degrees to my left, that also means I'm exactly turning 45 degrees towards my left. That is cardinal between north and west. That means it is northwest. People instead of sometimes using right and left, they do end up using words like clockwise and counterclockwise or anticlockwise. Counterclockwise and anticlockwise, both of them can be replaceably used. Clockwise means in the direction of the clock. That is it. If we look at a couple of examples, see the first example. A man is facing west. He turns 45 degrees in clockwise direction, and then another 180 in the same direction, and then 270 in the anti-clockwise direction. Which direction is he facing now? See, you don't really need the four options still because these exams come up with four options. I'm giving you these four options. South, northwest, west, and southwest. Assessment of the problem: a simple diagram might just help you any which ways. Clearly, the man initially faces the direction in the figure that you see is O A. On moving 45 degrees clockwise, he is standing facing direction O B. On further moving 180 degree clockwise, he is facing direction O C now. And final movement that of 270 degree anti-clockwise, he faces the direction OD, which is southwest. Hence, the answer is option D, which is southwest. A very simple problem. You don't even need to call it an aptitude examination problem, but just that it could be some practical problem that you face on ground or in your life normally. We move to the second example. Second one, a child is looking for his father. He went 90 meters in the east. Okay, here because the distance is also coming, we'll have to probably plot something along with while we are talking or reading the question. He went 90 meters in the east before turning to his right. While we say he went 90 meters to the east and turning to his right, that means he turned 90 degrees towards his right. He went 20 meters in that direction before turning to his right again to look for his father at his uncle's place, 30 meters from that point. Effective movement till now has been 90 meters, followed by 20 meters, followed by 30 meters, where he has reached his uncle's place. His father was not there. From there, he went 100 meters to his north before meeting his father in a street. Effectively, another 100 meters travelled. Okay, how far did the son meet his father from the starting point? So here, the reference has been fixed to be the starting point. Probably again in these kind of questions we might not need options. Still, the options 
are 80 meters, 100 meters, 140 meters and 260 meters. Talking about the whole effective movement on paper with a diagram and considering the values which have been given in the question, we see that the child moves from A 90 meters eastwards up to B, then turns right and moves 20 meters up to C, then turns right again and moves 30 meters up to D. Finally, he turns right and moves 100 meters up to E. Clearly, we see AB equal to 90 and BF is equal to 30 meters. So, AF will be equal to AB minus BF which is 60 meters. Also, DE from the figure is 100 meters. DF will be equal to BC is equal to 20 meters. So, EF is equal to DE minus DF that turns out to be 80 meters. Therefore, the distance from the starting point is equal to 100 meter. Hence, the answer is B. Here, just probably they could have asked us to put in a small Pythagoras application here and there, though it is still not needed per se as far as this particular question is concerned. Say for example, when I say from A, AF was 60 and FE was 80, if I end up taking a Pythagoras, 60 square plus 80 square and the square root of the same would have given me the distance AE, which is what is asked in the question, the distance from the starting point, that is 100 meters. Moving to the third problem, Johnson left for his office in his car. He drove 15 kilometers towards north and then 10 kilometers towards west. He then turned to the south and covered 5 km. Further, he turned to the east and moved 8 km. Finally, he turned right and drove 10 km. How far and in which direction is he from the starting point? Again, a small diagram which would be probably a 10 seconder might just help straight away. Johnson drove 15 km from A to B northwards and then 10 km from B to C towards west. He then moves 5 km southwards from C to D and 8 km eastwards up to E. Finally, he turned right and moved 10 km up to F. Therefore, A and F lie in the same straight line and F lies to the west of A. So, Johnson's effective distance from the starting point A is equal to AF which is given as BC minus DE which is 10 minus 8 kilometers that is 2 kilometers. Hence, the answer is the option A which is 2 kilometers. As far as direction sense questions are concerned, as I had said in the briefing, you can safely see these questions only in those papers where there is more than one question per minute is the kind of speed that is required. Otherwise, these are very, very easy to crack. I don't think you will need a lot of preparation, but just an hour of a dedicated preparation and you are done with this topic. Best of luck.